I want to put together this quick video about a set of MCN AVOs that uh, we had picked up for uh, the A86. And this is a double adjustable, has a uh, bump and rebound, uh, has a separate canister. Uh, the issue here is that the camber plates came installed backwards. Uh, the right was on the left side, the left was on the right side. And uh, while when it's installed, uh, the issue here is that the brakes uh, have to sit, they normally sit in the front where the calipers are sitting uh, up here. But uh, they now have to sit to the rear. Uh, if you have a set of Willwoods, for example, you can actually flip them and it works out just fine. But if you have, uh, if you're staying OEM, for example, uh, they unfortunately do not clear, and they make contact with uh, the lower knuckle. And uh, yeah, anyways. Um, otherwise, everything seems to be okay on it. Uh, I did try a couple of things. First thing I tried to do was thought maybe if I could remove this camber plate, I've already unbolted it. Uh, I might be able to slide it over uh, the canister and just swap the plates, and we'd be set. Unfortunately, uh, this camera plate is about three or four millimeters too small to slip over the canister. Uh, so the other option was I'd actually talk to Darren over at uh, MCN and he suggested that, hey, uh, this thing has two set screws that are down in here. I've already removed them right there and uh, the way that these were assembled was that this damper is inverted and it is threaded in. Um, I have already loosened up the collar and so the spring is loose. And I have also, there's an adjuster down in there. I have also tried to, uh, I've cranked the adjuster all the way down to the if you're looking from the bottom it is going clockwise um, if you're going to the top the shaft should be spun counterclockwise so um, what I'd been doing was I didn't want to put too much pressure on this adjuster knob um, I've already put some oil inside to try to loosen anything up in case it was binding um, but all this does here is that when you turn it um, it's kind of hard to get this when you do, it just free spins and it is not unthreading itself um, yeah, uh, unfortunately this is the way it came, uh, the camera plates are flipped backwards, so I think the only other option that I can see now would be to have this external canister um, depressurized and then repressurized. I'm suspecting that the pressure is probably somewhere between 120 uh, PSI and maybe 200 PSI. This is a set of uh, 7 kilograms per millimeter uh, double adjustables uh, assembled at um, AVO and uh, I want to say these are probably about 120 is my guess. Anyways, uh, this is my dilemma here. I just wanted to make this video and uh, hopefully we can get this resolved. Um, here's another shot too from the bottom there's unfortunately no way to undo, um, to unwind it or to un uh, unbolt it from the bottom. Uh, typically with the uh, Belsteins, with, uh, with the PSS9s or whatnot, uh, or uh, a lot of the other units, you can just put a wrench to it and uh, separate the damper from the casing. In this case, it's an A86 casing. Uh, but in this case, there's just not enough room to grab and again, I don't want to put too much strain on this little adjuster right here. So that is my dilemma. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, that would be great. I am making this video for Darren uh, so that he might get a better idea of what I'm looking at. Anyways, uh, yeah, have a good day.